Good morning again. Oh no, good afternoon now. Good afternoon. What see Mahapo? I finally remembered one. Nakampatam, I believe. Uh, slightly less busy than Wat Bankra, where we were. In fact, a lot less busy. Um, and we've come here to see this. A rather large, rather impressive Kwai Im, who we've been seeing a lot of over the past few videos. Kwai Im, who hears the cries of cries of the human race. Um, apparently she'd gained enlightenment and just as she was about to enter Nirvana, um, she heard the cries of the human race and she returned to earth to, um, I guess, to be compassionate, to ease suffering, hence why she's often known as the female, female Buddha. Um, uh, here we are. Oh, look. You may not be able to see because they're rather small, but... Oh, not up, down. On those tyres there, one just jumped off. There's some little turtles. Well, there was two. Now there's one just sunning himself. Um, mm, nice. Nice. Right, let's uh, pan you back square. And we'll uh, go and have a look at quite him. See if she can hear my cries. I've got many cries, but we all like to have cries, don't we? I don't mean in the literal sense of tears. I mean in the sense of we we moan and we find a strange place to have a bridge. We moan and we find we find reasons to uh, reasons to um, to find fault, I guess. Wow. It's been shoehorned in, isn't it? That water course. I'm, sh I'm assuming that's a canal. Maybe for irrigation. Strange. I guess at one time, maybe this bridge, maybe it fed into the pond there. Hence why the bridge is here. Just a thought. Just a thought. Oh. Right, let's go up and have a look at Kwai Im. Oh, stairs. Good. Good. I thought I'd not had my daily dose of stairs. I obviously need some. Oh, Wales Arenas. Sorry, I just need to get there. ทำแล้วสองชุดนะบูชานมัสการโกงหลวงพ่อตะโกสีหนึ่งชุดเจ้าค่ะเนาะเอาจะถวายกันก็ทานเพื่อเป็นการถวายเพื่อเป็นพระ
can tell you, but I never remember to bring my iPad out with me and, and just ones that I'm reading on a website, a British website. One day I remember and I'll sit here and tell you all about Kwaim and the significance of the, the iconography. It's, um, yeah, nice. I think I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that's the the biggest quite in I've seen. Um, it's quite unusual for her to take centre stage and in that particular size as well. Um, you know, typically you might have a a standing Buddha, or if you've watched any of my previous videos, um, Prapikanet we have at this kind of size but uh, yeah, quite in unusual so there you have it I don't think there's much else here to be honest from what I could glean from the interweb but um, it's rather hot so I'm going to walk back down and uh, we might do another one we might not depends on the traffic <laughs> Ooh, we'll have a little look inside. We're now under under the statue of Kwai Im. And hopefully you can see. It's a bit dark. Ooh, there's a little a little pool of water. And if you look at the head there, we've got the The, the other version, the other um, depiction of Kwa Im, where she's multi armed, many, many arms um, seated, sometimes standing, often seated. Um, yeah, nice. And you just look behind, you've got her bust there as well back but, uh, nice nice seated on the lotus flower in a pool of water